What's up, Average Dad fans? Welcome back to another video. And today I am going to talk you through how to set up Google natively on your Huawei device. Yes, Huawei have always had issues with Google, certainly in the past five years. I am here to make your life easier because hardware wise, Huawei might make the best phones. Let's go. Now, before we talk about the Huawei having Google and all that good stuff, I wanted to shout out a channel sponsor for today's video, Pataka. Pataka have been sending me cases, accessories for a few months now. Even before my channel reached anywhere near 10K, one of the contacts there, I won't mention your name, has just been unbelievably supportive with, as I say, sending me free accessories to use with no ulterior motive, no post a video by this date or that date. Now I've mentioned Pataka cases on my videos in the past, but that's just been off my own back because I genuinely, genuinely think they're the best cases on the market. The Maggie's cases that you see here are the slimmest and some of the most protective cases on the market and very reasonably priced. Now, what they've got out today on the website is their new Maggie's Car Mount Pro 2. This has fast charging compatibility. So you just plug it into your car like any car mount, pop it on the old vents, and this will magnetically MagSafe charge your iPhone at 15 watts. This is a fantastic piece of kit that Pataka have provided me with. However, I have a discount code that you can see in the description below. Click on my link, use the discount code, and you're going to get up to 55 bucks off some of these exciting products as part of the Black Friday deal. Now, as you can see, there's an Apple Watch strap, there's an iPad Pro case, there's the cases, there's a little flip kickstand for any device it's magnetic like those little pop sockets so yeah shout out to Pataka for sponsoring this video and sending me with all this gear go to Pataka link in description use the discount code get some cash off for Black Friday deals let's get back to the video this video has taken a bit of a turn since yesterday for context, yesterday I had made the thumbnail and just to show you, I had started the edit in Final Cut Pro. I was recording some voiceover, taking screenshots, doing all the things that I do to make a video. And then I thought, well, I'm just going to take a day off from actually posting anything and finishing it. I'll finish it on Sunday, today. And yeah. I then woke up to a lovely post from YouTube and from the Average Dad member group. Join down below if you want to be a part of that. Anyway, long story short, a site called System Hacks on YouTube has done the exact same video as I was going to do. Yes, while I knew how to do it a few days ago, I should have been quicker to post um, so that I was first. So, as mentioned, before I get into how to do it, I just want to say the Huawei Mate X3, the Huawei Mate X5, the Huawei Mate XS2, and then all the candy bar phones they've done over the past few years, I don't think there's any argument that they're up there with the best hardware, if not the best hardware, on any phones. The issue with Huawei, and the reason why I prefer my Honor Magic V2, Xiaomi Mix Fold 3, OnePlus Open, or Oppo Find N3. Well, it's quite simple. It's because Google. Google works. Sometimes you have to do an APK, but Google services work. Well, on Huawei, that's different now. This is the way to get Google natively with in-time, on-time, reliable push notifications. 
Now where this video takes a bit of a twist is I'm not going to talk through all the steps anymore. It doesn't sit well with me to essentially release a word-for-word -word carbon copy of what system hacks have done. Now, most YouTubers, I imagine, wouldn't do that. They would make their own step-by-step -step guide telling you the exact same information. Now, I don't know the chap's name that is talking over, but I understand all the steps he went through perfectly, which means you will too. So, to avoid wasting your time and mine, I am just going to link the System Hacks video in the description below. I did try to find him on YouTube to see if I could use some of the clips from his to save me doing any of that kind of duplicated, but I couldn't find anything on Instagram. So because I didn't get any permission, I'm not going to clip his video and, and be lazy that way. I'm just going to link you to his video. Now, what I am going to be able to tell you is how the phone will look afterwards. So once you follow the steps in the video, this will make a bit more sense. So if I just open this, the Huawei Mate XS2 with EMUI has all Google apps natively receiving push notifications. Now, as I am talking to you, all the notifications have been buzzing away, popping through. I've actually turned vibrate off because I noticed that even vibrate comes through quite strong on the video. So notifications work. Google apps are native. Essentially, it's using... F-Droid app Aurora, another very, very cool app called Micro-G, developed by some unbelievable geniuses. So there's a few things working in the background, and because they're constantly working, that's how you get notifications, and that's how you get Google services on your Huawei. This is not like dummy Google services. You log into your Google account, you can use your Google Maps, you can use everything as normal. One thing that hasn't been cleared up and one thing I've not tested on this is NFC payments, so Google Pay. I have been told that they work, but I can't 100% say because it doesn't talk about it in this video from what I gathered and I haven't tested. So until I test it, I will not tell you it works. So, again, video took a bit of a twist. Um, yeah. My channel is not to rip others off. If I posted this video today, that again, I made this thumbnail yesterday, um, I, yeah, it, it wouldn't sit well with me. So instead, you can now consider a Huawei device to use as your daily driver. In this video, he talks about the Huawei P60 Pro and the Mate X3 being the only devices to have the update or whatever it is I think he mentioned, that's inaccurate. The X5, the XS2, the Mate 60 Pro. This hack will work for all Huawei EMUI devices. As we speak, I have a contact testing it on Harmony OS. However, if that way doesn't work, there is another way to get Google services native on Harmony OS as well. So maybe I'll be quick to post that video and nobody will beat me to the punch. So if you've enjoyed this video, which I'm not sure if anybody will have, hopefully you admire my honesty um, and my willingness not to just copy someone, even though I had the info um, before the video was posted. I'll be back tomorrow as normal with a video on a new device. New device to me. The Honor... 90. Feels so weird saying honour without the words magic or anything, but no. The budget-friendly honour device with some truly flagship specs. 200 megapixel camera, for example. So I'll be back with a review of that. I'm not going to draw out an unboxing or first impressions. That's not worthy of that, but it's worthy of a review. So I'll come back with that tomorrow. And until next time...